What's up, my freakishly beautiful people? Just wanted to share something with you that um, that I was thinking about the other day, and you know, I, I hear a lot of people that are that are discouraged because they've, you know, they failed on their their attempt to go five straight days without uh, eating, you know, their dessert cake or drinking alcohol or smoking cigarettes, whatever. And they get down on themselves and then they end up quitting the, the journey that they originally started because they feel like a failure. Self-condemnation, I'm not good enough, I'm never going to be good enough. So what's the use of keeping, keeping the, uh, the momentum going? Because I'm just going to fail anyways. But instead of looking at it like that, looking at it as, you know, you found out another way of not doing something that constantly results in, you know, negative consequence. Like, you know... Uh, if you keep drinking or if you keep smoking cigarettes or if you keep eating at dessert at specific times, you know, figure out what is part of the environment that you're in that is triggering you to do those specific things. Uh, so I'm going to give you a short story. Uh, let's say that we're, we live in a tribe and we're in the middle of, you know, uh, let's say, let's say we're in Africa and you know, we're, we've never seen a lion before. And so we're in this beautiful, beautiful tribal, you know, village, and we're all contributing members of the village society. And everyone has a job and everyone's, you know, helping each other out and stuff. And then one night, a lion comes. We've never seen a lion before. A lion comes and roars and we all spread. We all run. But person A person A gets caught and gets eaten by the lion. The lion gets his, his thirst for blood and his thirst for human meat quenched and leaves. We gather around the fire and we all talk about what had just happened and we all describe in our own little ways because we all have our own versions of reality what the beast looked like. So we uh, come to the realization that whatever this specific thing is, we've got to run from it. A little while later, we're all doing our village thing. Lion comes, gets person B. We run, right? Person B gets caught, gets eaten by the lion. We all come back together and we all compare notes and our own you know, individual perceptions and we realize that, wow, we can't outrun the lion. The lion is too fast. So we realize, yo, we've got to figure out a way to get away from the lion when the lion comes. So a person in the back, smart, raises his hand and he says, let's climb a tree. And everyone's like, yeah, that's a good idea. There's trees all around us. So everyone prepared like, you know, their own spots in the trees, you know, make cut down the obstructive branches and, you know, uh, create little little steps so when the lion comes it can run and just easily you know you know leap up the tree so a little while later same thing happens roar the lion comes into the village and everyone scatters to their trees and everyone climbs up the trees and the lion sees the trees the nearest tree and it was like man I'm getting I'm getting some of that human so climbs up the tree grabs person C now, person C gets pulled out of the tree and it gets swept off into the middle of the night. And everyone's like, what the heck just happened? And one of these people is like, Fool, we can't outrun it. We can't outclimb the line. I don't know what the heck you're thinking. And everyone's like, why are you talking like that? He's like, I'm not talking like anyone. I'm just speaking some realization, some truth for you. We can't outrun the line and we can't outclimb the line. What are we going to do? So everyone came back together, compared notes again. And the same guy is like, you know, listen, we can't outrun him, we can't outclimb him, but there's a water source nearby. Let's let's move our village. Let's pick it up and we move it over, like Clash of Clans, the video game. Let's move our village over to the water source. So all we gotta do is just go run into the water, because we know beasts like that that have pretty hair like that don't want to get wet. <laughs> so sure enough, everyone's doing their their village thing, and a lion comes, and everyone runs into the water. And the lion runs up to the shore and was like, you know what? I don't really like this water business. Dips his paws in. It's like, ooh, it's, it's, it's wet. And then, and then grabs person D. Sweeps him off into the middle of the night and eats him. 
can't out climb them, can't out run them, can't out swim them. What the heck are we going to do? And the same person that was a smart ass up in the tree was like, yo, listen, I've noticed because I've been hashtagging no lion present whenever we have a campfire. We haven't had a campfire in a long time. So everyone started putting up torches all around the, the village. Lion never came back. So what they ended up doing without even really realizing it, because it was, it was a, a uh, uh, self-preservation. We had to figure out a way. We had to change course. We had to realize what was part of the process that gave us negative consequences. And we got to get rid of those things because we have to have positive consequences. Therefore, we can't outrun them. Why are we going to try to outrun them? We're just going to get, someone's going to get eaten. The weakest among us. We can't outclimb them. Same thing. The weakest among us or the low lying fruit, if you want to look at it like that. Can't out swim them. The water, the, the, the lion doesn't like water, but the lion, if it's hungry enough, it will go in. So we got to make sure that there's fire present whenever, you know what I'm saying? Whenever we're, we're vulnerable per se. So if I constantly drink in the middle of the night, I got to realize that either I'm bored or I'm highly in a highly emotional state, um, stress, anger, resentment, blah, blah, blah. Um, there's always social events that trigger specific sounds, songs, scents, perfumes, uh, colors. I mean, it, the, the list goes on, but realizing what is present in those particular moments, you've got to inventory that and then begin the fudge again. And if it doesn't work out the next time, write down what was present and how you screwed up and fix it and begin again and begin again and begin again. You didn't fuck up, excuse my language, but let's just be real. You didn't fuck up. You just found a new way of not doing something. Like was it Thomas Edison that made the light bulb? What a 10,000 plus ways of not making the light bulb. And then that's just that one time it worked. It has everything to do with your life everything to do with your habits, everything to do with the goals that you've set for yourself. So don't get eaten by the lion. <laughs> for real, for real. Resonate. Have a blessed night, y'all. And morning and evening, afternoon to ya. Peace.